Okay, guys, it is time. You know that time, the special time in our show when we have the most exciting segment of the show, and that is a moment in African history. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> right, everybody, sit down, relax. Let's do this. Let me take you on a journey. Today, we tell the tale of John C. Robinson. Who was he? Why have we never heard of him? We'll find out. Today, uh, well, John C. Robinson was a pilot from Chicago who came to Ethiopia's aid during the fight against Italy. What fight? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. We're going to have to go back to 1896 to start this one, so come with me and let's do it. A few years after the division of the African continent, the Italian kingdom, which had obtained Eritrea and Italian Somalia as its African territories, wanted to add Ethiopia to its kingdom on March 1st, 1896. But it failed after the defeat, the defeat of the Italian army in the Battle of Adwa, which is described as the first Italo-Ethiopian war. The battle fought near the northern town of Adwa in Ethiopia's Tigray region is the first victory by an African country over a colonial power. It left a very sour taste in the mouth of Italy, so he decided to take his revenge in the second Italo-Ethiopian War, and that was in 1935. Led by Italian leader Benito Mussolini, Italy was successful in that war, but not without strong Ethiopian resistance under the leadership of Emperor Haile Selassie I and a brave African-American aviator from Chicago who did his part to fight fascists as commander of Ethiopia's Air Force. History says that when the news broke that Italy was taking over Ethiopia, blacks in the U.S., particularly in Harlem, Harlem, sorry, who were loud in resistance and who saw the Ethiopia as an ancient cradle of civilization, were outraged. Thus, they volunteered to take on Ita the Italian dictator Mussolini. Apart from protesting, thousands of them signed up to go and fight for Ethiopia. They were, however, stopped by the State Department, who threatened jail, adding that the U.S. should only offer medical relief. But African-American aviator John C. Robinson was able to make it to Ethiopia. Recruited by the Ethiopian government to lead its air force, he sailed over the cover story. He sailed over with the cover story that he was an aircraft dealer, according to one account. So, who was he? Well, he was born in Carabel, Florida, in 1903, and Robinson and his family later moved to Gulf, Gulf, Gulfport, Mississippi, where, as a kid, he stood on the beach and watched the first aeroplane land in Gulfport. There and then, he began to love the idea of flying. He also had an interest in mechanics and machin machinery, and so he traveled to Alabama in 1921 to study mechanical science at the Tuskegee Institute. After studying there to be an autom automobile mechanic, he moved to Chicago in 1927 and opened a garage in Bronzeville. He lived, he lived near, the near the garage with his wife. Robinson would train as a pilot and later earn his pilot's license. But despite his amazing skills, the Curtis Wright or Aeronautical University in Chicago refused his application because it did not admit, admit black students at the time. So what Robinson did was to get work in the university as a janitor. He would clean classroom floors during lectures so he could follow what was being taught. And after classes, he would take notes off the chalkboard. <laughs> after some time, the school relented and finally admitted him. And in 1931, he graduated at the top of his class as a master mechanic. He would also sign on as the school's first black instructor and teach the first all-black class, according to the Chicago Tribune. Well, in 1935, when Italy was preparing to go to war with Ethiopia, Robinson announced that he would help Ethiopia fight the fascist Italian forces. He disclosed that he was ready to fight for Africa's last sovereign nation, which he and many other black people saw as the true ancestral homeland, and for them a symbol of redemption in the diaspora. After making it to Ethiopia, he med immediately took over as the leader of the nation's air force in August 1935 and trained many Ethiopians to fly and fix aircraft. According to Black Past, Robinson commanded a fleet of about 20 Potes 25 biplanes, which were, however, weaponless and used for re reconnaissance only. Robinson, who was credited with having fought off two Italian planes in, during an observation fight flight in Ethiopia, helped the African country fight the Italian fascists for well over a year, earning the nickname the Brown Condor. 
<laughs> Being a black flyer, media organizations all over the world, including bl black press in the U.S., paid attention to him during the Second Italian-Ethiopian War. But Robinson's Air Force flew over only a dozen or so aircraft, which the Tribune described as the mediocre scouting planes. At the end of the day, Ethiopia was defeated by the Italians. Selassie fled to Europe in exile, and Robinson went back home to the U.S. in 1936, and he was given a hero's welcome. He later became known as the father of the Tuskegee Airmen for his immense contributions to the aviation program he started at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama in the 1940s. And after the Second World War, Robinson went back to liberated Ethiopia to train pilots and organize, organize this, this country's national airline. And that was where he died in 1954 following a plane crash in Addis Ababa. He's buried there at Gulele Cemetery. At the wreath laying ceremony in this, to honor Robinson in 2018, Michelle Rayner, who was then the United States Ambassador to the Ethiopia, said, The story of John C. Colonel John C. Robinson illustrates something that is sometimes overlooked when we talk about the relationship between the United States and Ethiopia. We tend to focus on the important work that takes place between our two governments. But Colonel Robinson's story reminds us that the impact of our people-to-people -people relationships can be even greater. And that's it. That's his story. So, <laughs> what do you guys think? A hero. Yeah, a I mean, hero. the fact that he died in, in Ethiopia, Ethiopia. That's, that's crazy. Uh -huh. He went back yeah, to train to people train after the war. Pilots. Yeah, and then he had a crash, crash a plane yeah. crash. That happens a it's lot, doesn't it? People who are like a certain, mm, a certain um, um, profession. Yeah. Um, like the, a lot of Formula One drivers, after they finish their run as drivers and then they're training people and then they crash mm. and then they die. That's, there have been a few of them like that and pilots as well. Yeah. You finish your work and then you, you start training others mm. and then something happens. Yeah, I think it's just maybe fault in the aircraft yeah. or, or something. And what I liked about the story was the fact that he refused to admit him to the university because he was black. So he <laughs> went as a janitor <laughs> and was, and was janitor. listening to the lecture while, while cleaning. <laughs> and then while cleaning, and then after the everybody's gone, so we'll go to yeah. I mean, People do all, when you have a dream and you're mm -hmm. being blocked, I think you do all kinds of things to get to, around yeah, it. There are many, the, yeah, so there are many, there are many stories things. like this. He's not mm -hmm. the only one. Mm -hmm. A lot of like yeah. segregated schools, mm -hmm. or you would go to, you'd be the first black medical student, for example, and they'll use you as a lab tech rather than as an it was so crazy. America has such a mm. storied history when it comes to racial, you know, mm. uh, their segregation and integration policies. Crazy. Yes. But yeah, it's great. Yes. Like, I think they saw, because Ethiopia is incredible because they're the only ones who were never colonized. Yeah. Never. They're the only African country yeah. that has never been colonized. Yeah. True. Ever. So, because Italians, so all the Germans yeah, they, came, they, really tried. they took over Namibia, mm -hmm. uh, then the, the British came, really Ghana, close. Nigeria, mm -hmm. the French came, and it, it, Italians were like, hey, let's try our luck. And they're like, mm -hmm. you what? <laughs> 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 they were big, they were really defeated. And it's happens it's, it's like, nah, not here, not here. Go back. <laughs> it's not going to happen. They're the only European um, mm, nation who are defeated yeah. by an African government and yeah. they refused colonization. I think we should all have done the same that no, we did. We tried. We did. We tried. <laughs> Let me not say we didn't try. We fought and fought and fought. We did. We did. But um, yeah, they had guns and stuff. <laughs> anyway, so that's me. He rest in peace. He has contributed to history and, you know, it's our past. It's yeah. our past. We cannot go away from it. Mm. We take pride in it. We take caution from yes. it, and we learn, we learn from it. We learn a lot. We're from we're it. happy about it. We, it makes us proud. Makes us proud, but at the same time, makes us think, plan. And if you don't learn from history, you are doomed to repeat it. Mm. Right. True. Right. Rest in peace, John C. Robinson. Mm. Right now, it's time. We're going to do our proverbs. But before we do our proverbs, we're going to do some tongue twisters. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. All right, before we do that, let's have a, one song and then we'll come back and we're going to do some tongue. Do you have enough time for a song? No? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do tongue twisters first and our proverbs and then we'll end with a song. Okay, I think that's a good, <laughs> good way to do it. All right, Jim, are you ready? I have three tongue twisters for you in Yoruba. That's cheating. You never shared. <laughs> ah, it's easy. Okay. You speak a little Yoruba, don't you? Uh, well, we'll see. All right, just try. Okay, I'll give you a very simple one to start with. How about that? Okay. All right. Let's see. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bola ba 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 Bola ba 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 bo bata so so Bola helps her dad take off his shoes Bola ba 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 bo bata Bola ba 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 bo bata bo bata bo bata no no bo bata bo bata bo bata no no bo bata that's your house are coming up okay Bola ba 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 bo bata Bola ba 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 bo bata 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 no bata bata yeah 
Okay. Bola baba baba bata. Bola baba baba bata. No bata. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> even though you sound like Hausa. <laughs> Bola okay, baba bata. No, no bata. Mm-hmm. Bata. Bata. Yes. Okay. Bola baba. <laughs> <laughs> 